Hey everyone, my name is Olaf and today I'll show you how to make this exact render in just a few minutes in Blender. As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so first you have to switch from Blender Render to Cycles Render for better shading. And then click X to delete the default cube. Then go into Create and add a plane. Then click S to scale up the plane. And then left click to confirm the scale. Then right click on the lamp and go into lamp settings, change it into a sun and change the size to 1. Then click use nodes and change the strength to 7. And this will be the value to adjust the brightness of the scene. Then click G to grab it and then R to rotate the sun. Now we need to go into the world settings and then click use nodes and then environment texture. And what we're going to do is to go to the browser and uh, go to the link in the description and download one of the background images. And these background images will make the glass look a lot better. So uh, just download any of these uh, free background images and select them and download them. I decided to uh, choose the Chelsea stairs and uh, then we go back to Blender and open the uh, HDRI image. And uh, when we go into render view, you will see what the background image looks like. So uh, let's go to the uh, render settings and make sure to use the GPU if you have one. If not, just keep using the CPU. Okay, so back to solid view, let's select the floor and add a uh, glass material. So click new and then change it to uh, glossy. And then change the roughness to uh, 0 0.025 and make it way darker. Now, the reason why I spent so much time doing the floor and the uh, background image is because the lighting is very important for the gloss itself. So let's add the monkey and finally do the gloss. So shift A and add the monkey. And now we need to rotate it. So click R, then X to rotate it on the X axis. And then G, then set to grab the monkey on the Z axis. And R to rotate. And G set to grab it on the Z axis once again. Okay. And then we need to add a modifier, which is the subdivision surface modifier, to increase the amount of polygons to make it smoother. And then go to tools and make sure to add smooth shading to make it look even smoother. Okay, so now it's finally time to add the gloss material and this is actually the simplest part of the tutorial. So just click new and then change from diffuse to uh, gloss and then make the color completely white. And that's basically it. So now let's go into the camera, click number at zero to see through the camera. Then click shift F to use the fly cam and you can move around with W, A, S, and D just like in a video game. And then left click to confirm the position. Let's select the monkey, click Shift D to duplicate, and then click Shift Set to move the duplication only on the X and Y axis. And then let's uh, create a new material for this one and uh, give it a new color. So let's make it uh, orange. And uh, once you have a color that you like, we can go back to solid view and click shift D to duplicate and then shift set to move the duplication only on the X and Y axis. Then click the plus sign for a new material and then add a new color. You can obviously add whatever color you want. So uh, I'm just going to make them uh, transparent, orange and blue for uh, this render. Okay. And uh, I might adjust the position of the orange one. So click G and then shift set to move it only on the X and Y axis once again. Then go into render settings, increase the resolution quality to 100%. Now, since we are uh, rendering loss, it's important to increase the amount of samples. So set it to maybe around 300. And then for performance, if you have a GPU, make sure to increase the tile size to 500. If not, just leave them at 64 if you use a CPU. It's also very important that you enable the noising for uh, less noise in the render. And then just click render and then you have the final render after a few minutes of rendering. That's all. Thank you guys for watching and subscribe.